All right, this story time is brought to you by Hinge. Hinge, if y'all see this, unlock me. Now let's get into it. I'm banned from Hinge. Get yourself a glass, get comfortable. I can't tell y'all what I'm drinking because they ain't sponsoring this. And what's up? I have been in LA for six years now and I've had some very interesting things happen to me. One story time at a time, how about that, okay? This one is about why I am banned from Hinged. Hinged. I was hinged. I'm banned from it. Without further ado, we're gonna take a sip. All right, so boom. So dating in LA, everybody knows that it is not the ideal city, the state to date in. I decided to try online dating. You know, I've heard of all of the big ones. I've heard of Tinder, being the hookup site. I've heard of Plenty of Fish, Bumble, OkCupid, BlackPeopleMeet.com. I've heard of them all, right? So 2019, I get on Hinge. Um, I kick it off with this one guy. Shout out to you. Long story short, we, we, we met, this was the end of 2019 because then January happened. We stopped talking just to give you the timeline of things when the pandemic hit. So that was March, 2020. Both of our lives kind of just hit a uh, curb and spin out of control. And with what we both had going on, we kind of just lost touch. That's honestly what like, he had to deal with his own stuff. I had to deal with my own stuff. Fast forward, right? So I, I get off a hinge and I'm just like, you know what? That was cool, but I, you know, the pandemic, I ain't really trying to meet nobody else. I ain't really trying to hook up with nobody. Corona, like that was just the thing, Corona. <laughs> corona, online dating, Corona. Like people, I, if y'all was hooking up during the pandemic off of online dating, leave it in the comments too, because I would like to know a story. Fast forward, in 2020, I left LA and came back. And then I was like, you know what? Let me give Hinge a try again. Oh. Uh, Am I being honest? Oh, okay, yeah, let me back up a little bit. So I was still on Hinge prior to the pandemic kidding, right? So I was talking to a boy, this was it, we stopped talking in March, but in February, I had, <laughs> I had my first event in LA, my first speed dating event called Match Made in LA. I, I'm just at the scene. Match Made in LA happened in February 2020. Here's a little clip. What's up, y'all? We just wanna say, Thank you. Catch us at the next one. Yeah. Oh, here. Actually, check out this footage right here. Yes. Thank you for supporting the first ever match made in LA. Launch party. Yes. We appreciate all of y'all and we have so much love in the building. Lord, I got a prayer. Hold on. I'm not going to play. Go ahead. Okay, don't play with me. Amen. But... Okay. Yes. This is the first of many yes. trusts that more match made in LA are on the way. Yes. And if you didn't find the love thing you today, we know that everybody connected with somebody. They got an Instagram, they made a business partner, they made a new friend. Listen, I found two. Okay? So, Not one. Y'all better be on fire for the next one because he's shut it down. It was popping. Make sure y'all follow our page, Matchmade in LA, to stay tuned for the next speed dating event. So anyway, fast forward. So we stopped talking in March 2020. The pandemic happened. Coming to the end of 2020, I'm like, let me get back on hinge and let me start flirting and let me start talking. I meet this guy. I'm taking a sip. On hinge. He looks really cute. He's into all these different things. Like he's big, he's strong, he's older. He was 40. I'm gonna put it out there. He was 40 at that time. I was 27, 28. No, 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 not 28. I was like 27, 26 turning 27. Or I just turned 27. So he lived in like Inglewood at this time. I just moved to North Hollywood. So it was nothing for him to come drive and see me. At first he was doing a little FaceTime thing. The first time we FaceTime from Hinge, it was like an instant connection. We was on the phone all night. And it was real cute. I was like, okay. And he was he looked like a little teddy bear, very cute, very lovey dovey. And honestly, that's a sign that I'm now noticing that guys too lovey dovey early on, it could be a red flag. Mm. Yeah, love bombing is a thing. And my romantic self just oh girl no. 
So anyway, we started dating and we're gonna call him Brian. Me and Brian started dating. Like I said, he's older. He seems more mature. He's telling me he's studying to be a firefighter. And I'm just like, okay, he had like one kid. He had a home in Inglewood, like he was renovating. It was nice. So anytime I go over there, it's like I'm the lady of the house. That's how I'm feeling, right? I'm feeling like, y'all, this man grown. Like, I feel like I'm on my grown man. He on his grown man, right? This is the first red flag that I kind of ignored. Okay, yeah, this is February 2021, right? So um, we started talking around in January. February 2021. Me and my girls from high school decided to go on a girl's trip, a skiing trip. Make sure you check out that video. Been playing for months. These are my girls from high school, like almost 15 years in the paint, right? I just met this man two weeks ago. We ain't even talking for two weeks. I go on this girl's trip and we're in Breckenridge, Colorado. It's snowing every day heavily. My reception is bad. And also I'm spending time with my girls. I told this man that I was going on this trip. Y'all, why is he blowing up my phone? And I'm not, I don't know this because I don't have the reception, but anytime I get a message from him, it's very like shady, very like, uh, like, and I'm like, what? So I'm telling my girls at first, I'm like, oh yeah, I just met this guy. Da, da, da. Next thing you know, this man is damn near cussing me out because I'm not responding to him. Like on some SOS, where you at? Whoa. Even my friends was like, hmm. I don't know about it. I don't know about it. And I'm just like apologizing at this point. In my mind, I'm not even thinking it's an issue. I'm here with my friends. I told you that. He's going off of me. When we finally do talk on the phone, he's like, I don't know who you could be with. You could be up there with I don't know what you doing up there. You don't know who you with. Like, like we're together. Red flag. I was like, honestly, I told you who I'm with. I don't have no reason to lie to you. So that was my first time realizing that he is an argumentative type. He likes to get a little rowdy, riled up. And I might have a little, I might have a little bite back, but arguing is not my thing. I am not about to go back and forth with nobody. I do, I'm not into the whole, ooh, let's be toxic in love. Pass, immediate pass. At one point I just stopped responding because I was like, I'm here with my girls. Like, this is our 10 year reunion trip. Like, this is where I'm supposed to be at. This is where I'm, this is who I'm here with. This is who my attention goes to. Girl, so fast forward, I get back to LA and take a sip. I get back to LA and I think I go spend the, the following weekend with him. And just signs of controllingness. Like, honestly, with, with online dating, it's like you, you never really know who you're getting into. Like, you, yeah, you see this nice little profile. These are my favorite things. These are my dislikes. We will click if you, you know, like the color blue on the, on the Tuesday night. Something, you know, quirky and cute. Y'all, this man was crazy. This man was crazy. He was controlling. Like, mind you, at this point, we three weeks in. We ain't saying I love you and stuff, but I, you know, I'm following his lead. But that that's just me knowing that I was young. Like in retrospect, just young and just ugh, girl. I don't give myself too much. I give myself grace for that. But just too many red flags were going ignored. So let's get to the to the nitty. Valentine's Day was coming up. I think that was the, like the next weekend. Something like that. Valentine's weekend was like the third weekend or the second weekend. I don't know. Y'all figure out the timeline. But you know, Valentine's Day coming up. He not saying nothing, but yeah, he calling me every night. We talk here every day. I was like, hey, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? We on FaceTime. I asked him that. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, well, what you want to do? And I should have just been like, skirt. No. What do you mean? What do you mean? We've been talking for like a month now. Like, okay, it's still new, but a month and like nothing. And at first I'm talking about his master. Like he took me to Palace Verdes or Palace, the Palace Days, whatever it is called. We looking at the stars with his drone, all this cute stuff. Valentine's Day coming up and now you choking. Like, I don't understand. You giving me all this hell while I'm on this ski trip. And now it's like, uh, 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 uh. At one point during that time, like before Valentine's Day, I get on my hand jab. Cause like, I'm like, you know what? I'm about to go back to the streets. In the app and it says like I think I'm logged out I try to log back in as I'm logging in like you know you put your number in it sends you a code you put the code in it's gonna say your account has been banned or something like that and I'm just like what I do instantly I think it's this man <laughs> I think it's him how 
what did you do to get my page bought? And, and the only reason I think it's, it's him is because he is, he's already been showing signs of possessiveness, right? Like he's already been showing things. So I, we on FaceTime and I know that I'm blocked, right? So I casually mentioned it and I was like, yo, guess what? You don't never guess what happened today. He was like, what? I'm blocked on Hinge. He was like, oh, uh, oh wow, that's strange. I immediately think it's him. Like, what? You reported my page. Cause you already tripping on me. And I'm just, he was like, yeah, maybe it's somebody messing with you. He says that. And I kind of just like shrug it off. But that was honestly, if that was in red flag number two or three, it was for sure the biggest red flag. Okay. I'm convinced in my mind that it's this man that I blocked. So without telling him, I like try to go for a pill, a pill it. Hinge is like, no. No, it, and it says you can only appeal it one time. I write a whole paragraph, like, I can't believe that I haven't done anything to da 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 And they're like, yeah, we reviewed it and you're blocked. <laughs> no, you cannot get back on hands. You violated our term, da, da 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 I'm over here trying to pick my brain. If it's not him, maybe it's that one time I left that guy on red. I, I'm, I'm thinking of all these different things, right? Cause hands is not telling me, they're not, they're not showing me any type of Prove that I violated anything. They're just telling me, no thanks. And I'm just like, well, damn, I'm stuck with Shorty. Like I can't even, <laughs> I can't even enter back into the online streets if I wanted to because he did something to block me. Long story short, with him, it fizzled out. It crashed and burned. And I'm gonna tell you a quick reason why. I was over at his house. I don't wear, I don't wear mink lashes. Okay. We in his house, I'm, I, we watching, it was a new movie that just came out. Ooh, I can't think of the new movie name, but we watching the movie, right? He get up to go use the restroom. I turn my head, guess what's on the, the pillowcase? A mink eyelash. I, I, I didn't flip, but I asked him calmly. I was like, why are you talking to somebody? He, he didn't wanna be transparent with me. He tried to make me feel stupid and said that that eyelash was a feather. The eyelash being a a gray feather because he had feather pillows. I may not wear them, but I am a woman. I know what they look like, okay? We got into this huge argument. I called an Uber and I left. And now I'm like, I'm salty because it's like, dang, I can't even get back on Hinge and this man is crazy. But also like, do I even want to get on Hinge because my last two experiences have crashed and burned and I don't even think I just need that. Fast forward, it's been three years. Me and my girlfriends are talking about online dating. And you know, I bring up, oh, match made in LA. And then this thought comes up to my head. <laughs> the reason why I now believe that I was blocked, still leaning on, he may have reported me. But what I might think it is, so I had this speed dating event called Match Made in LA, right? What better way to promote it than an online dating website? <laughs> So I'm you I'm on hinge. Every guy, you know how the, how it works. Somebody comes up, they like you, you like them back, y'all match. So I'm I'm liking everybody back. And this is the only reason why I don't think because this happened prior to me meeting Chris. Like the event was February 2020. Oop, did I say his name? <laughs> this is prior to me meeting Brian, right? My Match Made in LA event was February 2020. I started talking to Brian in March 2021. So I had been on there for a whole year after sending out mass messages saying, hey, you should come to my Match Made in LA event. I was, uh, I was talking about, I would like with the person start a quick conversation like, hey, hey, John, hey, Robert, hey, Ozaya, whatever. Like, and I'd just be like, you should come to my match marriage in LA event. Uh, a singles meet singles networking event. Why don't you pull up? You get me? So now that I say it again on here, I'm still leaning toward it being Brian's fault, the reason why I'm black, because those two events happened two different years, like uh, within a year span of time. And when I was blocked, it happened while I was dating him, which was 2021. So, so that's why I've been on Hinge and I'm, uh, newly single again so how has your experience online dating been i'm really skeptical about getting on any other ones like i know bumble is the one new in the streets 
I mean, not new in the streets, but it's getting a lot of play on my social media. So I'm like, should I try it again? Or should I just continue to be a hopeful romantic, knowing that one day I'm just gonna run into my future husband in a grocery store or at an event, at a nice bar, or even at this comedy show that I'm about to go to right now. Cause I look cute. I look good. So I don't know, we, we gonna see. We, we, got, we gotta figure it out, but that's my story on why I'm blocked on Hinge. Hinge folks, if you watching this, please review my account because I ain't do it, I ain't harass nobody. Yeah, I sent out a couple, couple pull up texts, but I ain't do nothing else. And I need y'all to comment below, like do y'all, if that was the reason, do y'all feel like I should have been banned? Like completely banned. Like the only way I could get back on Hinge is if I get a whole new number. Was it that serious? Couldn't I have gotten a warning first or at least let me know what I really did? It was Brian. Do y'all think it was Brian? Cause I think it was Brian still. He bought me on everything else now. So Brian, if you seeing this and you know your name not Brian. Okay, F you. Cause now I'm out here in these streets. It's okay though. That was my story time. <laughs> Till next time, be love. Most importantly, be like, peace. I'm really blocked.